Hi, it's Chris. And I just got the new Ryobi power source that has a 12 volt output. So let's take a look at it. A couple of years ago, I designed and 3D printed a adapter uh, that was a 13.8 volt, 10 amp uh, cigarette lighter socket. But now Ryobi has finally come out with their power source adapter. And it's got a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter socket. It's got a uh, 30 watt power delivery port type C. And it's got two 5 volt, 2.4 amp USB A type sockets. And it's got two fast charge 18 watt sockets USB. And if you turn on the side, it also has the on and off button, but it also has a small light built in. Here you can see the options listed in the brochure. My first disappointment is that it doesn't seem to have charge capability like this 150 watt uh, in power inverter does. You can see on this one it has three battery contacts plus minus and the temperature sensor so it can charge. Here you can see the power source has only two terminals plus and minus. And if you switch back over to the 150 watt power inverter you can see the three terminals. For my test I'm going to use the 9 amp hour battery which is the best case scenario. I've got the Ryobi 12 volt power source connected to my tester and you can see with no load it's 12 volts. I would prefer this to be 13.8 volts because as soon as you put a load on it you can get a, it will get a voltage drop and some devices don't like low voltage. So at 10 amps uh, the voltage has dropped to 11.4 volts and you can hear the fan has gone on and I've put a fresh 9 amp hour battery in and I'm going to do a test to see how long I can run it at 10 amps. After a half an hour I used my infrared uh, camera to take a look at it and the system is nice and cool it's only running 85 degrees. At about 50 minutes the uh, back light started blinking. The power source just blinked red and then went off. So it went almost an hour at 114 watt hours. The Ryobi P194 9 amp hour 18 volt battery says it should get 162 watt hours. Uh, when I was using it with the uh, new power source, 12 volt at uh, 10 amps, I only got 115 watt hours. That's only 70% efficiency at 10 amps, but we don't know what C rating they used when they spec the battery out at 162 watt hours. The main takeaway is that with the 9 amp hour battery, you can run a full load of 10 amps for an hour if you know the wattage of your device, then you can use the 115 watt hours to calculate how long it will run. The label underneath the battery tells you all the power specifications for the different voltages. The power delivery port supports a bunch of different voltages. 5 volts at 3 amps. 9 volts at 3 amps. 12 volts at 2.5 amps. 15 volts at 2 amps, 20 volts at 1.5 amps, USB type A, 5 volts, 2.4 amps. The fast charge port should be able to put out 5 volts at 3 amps, and it can. My trigger wouldn't work with the USB type A ports that are fast charge. I'll have to try to get a different one so I couldn't check the 9 and 12 volt outputs. The device came with a little card showing you the preferred devices but let me show you what I'm going to use it for. You can use your power source to run your CPAP machine in case the AC power goes off. You know, the one thing you want to do is uh, make sure that you turn off the dehumidifier because that takes a lot of extra power. So you just want to make sure it's in the off position. For a test, I've put a watt meter in between the 
Ryobi power source in the CPAP machine and turn it on here. So at full power without going in and out breathing, it's just 32 watts. In reality, when you're breathing, it takes a lot less power and I easily get a full night on a nine amp hour battery. I've got this 24 liter Wagon uh, cooler heater and it's, uh, it's Peltier driven I believe and the power source will run it. It looks like it takes at full power about 40 watts so a 9 amp hour battery will run about 3 hours. My Iceco cooler freezer works pretty well on this. It's at a high quality uh, compressor. I've got it set at 48 degrees. On standard mode, it's taking about 40 watts. Best thing to do is to uh, put the stuff in it cold and run it on AC first to get it to temperature. Then the uh, cooler will just run to keep it at the temperature and not have to try to bring everything up to temperature. Other than the fact that it doesn't have built-in charging and it's only 12 volts instead of 13.8, I really like the device. It runs nice and cool and it's uh, easily portable, and I think I'll be using it for a lot of applications. Well, if this was helpful, please hit like and subscribe, and have a great day.